All right, so we have two more territories that we have to capture. Uh, figure we do this. Don't really talk like. Don't really talk like. Don't really feel like talking all the uh, envoys. All right. Uh, that's right. We were we were, we were going to a place and it crashed. Duh. Reeb Marina. Also, my uh, institute gun was destroyed in the uh, game crash of 1997. So that's why I don't have it. You got to see it be used once. Hey, alright, I think it did work. Yeah. Holy <laughs> diver. Everyone, bunch up. Destroy Reed Marina. No. Not the arm. My god, we're losing people. Ooh. Guess I got him in the in the in the nards or something. He jumped. Oh my god. Quicker. Oh the brigadier general. Oh my god. Susan. Hey, you have a missile launcher up here? Oh, I guess got some BDSM going on, I guess. Oh, God. I am going to lose all these people. 25% <laughs> chance to stun? All right, let's try it out. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the slowest way to die. <laughs> then I burned him alive. Oh my god, this poor... This poor... <laughs> Alright. Great. Thank you. Oh my god, who were you even shooting? Yeah, no. The guy who's shooting me directly in my face. Okay. That was on you, thank you. Oh, there he is. There's the weasel. Get him with a baseball bat. Oh my god. Wait, I can shock him. Guess I can't stun power armor, damn it. My, my soldiers! Oh, famous in. Load! Am I out of stim packs? Nice, nice, nice! Oh, hell yeah! Did you get him? <laughs> you need. You, you should get a promotion, ma'am. We lost a good amount of people, I think. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, only 11 injuries. I'll, I'll take that. Jeez. Ashbreakers. Man, what a battle. Travel pouch. Yep. That would be used during travel. Oh. That's when I realized I was in the wrong Wendy's. Jameson. <laughs> Get me my chair. My legs got blown clean off. They know I'm here. <laughs> All right, so this locks on. Did not know that. Pretty useful. I don't trust this flag. Huh? Whoa. All right. A little too close for comfort. 
Everybody watch out. A bunch of gunners are gonna pop out a, a whale or something again. <laughs> Is that all of them? It's like be a good fight, four of them? Believe it or not, the super mutants around. It has no. Okay, we did it. Damn. Good job, everyone. That was easy. Yo, Salvador. I'm flying here. Jameson. Yeah. Felt so good about it, I went in the air myself. Salvador reporting in. We've seen an uptick in gunner activity. Their attacks have become more frequent and with greater coordination. I've instructed our soldiers to be extra cautious, but I... Oh, sorry, advanced farming. I still recommend doubling recon and intel gathering in order to retain the upper hand. Is that really necessary? Something's changed. The gunners are pushing back with more force, striking with more cunning. We need to keep on top of them. All right. Absolutely. Go ahead. Understood. I'll pass along the orders. That was all. Salvador out. Capture the locations the gunners have occupied deeper into the Commonwealth. How deep do they go? Where are these deep areas? These? You giving me more? Oh, this is a danger one? Is it? No, that's one of ours. Let's, uh, go meet some envoys. Are there any more? Help the groups you've met to gain alliances and... Oh... Uh, I gotta play the vanilla game. That's me shaking hands with everyone in the vanilla game. I have to, I have to dress up like that. Get my ass kicked. Alright, so yeah, I guess I have to do vanilla stuff and just capture stuff now. Magnuson here. By now, you must have found my old hideaway. Tell me, what do you think of the gun you found? The Stheno. So you know weapons, huh? <laughs> Weapon design is one of the many feathers in my cap, yes. I'm impressed you noticed the Stheno was custom built. And further impressed you noticed it was by my hand. You clearly have an eye for this sort of thing. I must say, I'm pleased you decided to follow my advice. Make sure you keep hold of that rifle. You'll need it. Why don't you tell me about it? The Stheno was my answer to the electromagnetic arms race. Whilst others attempted to prioritize energy efficiency or construction costs, I instead focused on raw, stopping power. The result? A handheld weapon that can punch through a warship's hull. Provided you give it enough charge, of course. There's something a bit off. Uh, no need to say it. I anticipated this reaction. You've probably noticed your adversaries have been equipped with similar-looking weaponry. And yes, I can confirm there is a connection between their weapons and the Steno. You see, back before the war, corporate espionage was commonplace, and tech patents were constantly being... creatively acquired, shall we say. <sighs> Truth is, it was long ago I lost track on how many of my ideas and inventions had been copied or outright stolen. And that includes the Steno. Please, go on. It would appear the gunners have been granted access to a stockpile of counterfeit Steno replicas. Undoubtedly a gift from their employer. But the rifle that you found is the original. And I guarantee the best variant of the weapon you'd ever have the pleasure to handle. Well, unless I decide to build an improved version, that is. How is a gun going to help us? Ha! The Steno is an impressive weapon. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But, you're right. A single gun won't win you this war. No. The Steno is but the first stepping stone. To deal with your gunner problem, we're going to require something with a bit more firepower. If you have something to say, I'm listening. Tell me. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and pondered? What's up there? It's more than just stars, you know. Hundreds, possibly thousands of man-made satellites still orbit this once beautiful globe. 
and some of those satellites were once part of the United States Atomic Rain Program. I think I saw a bit about it on the news, back before the war. That's rather likely. I do recall the politicians wanting to make a big fuss out of it. After all, with the right propaganda, you can reassure the citizenry and scare your enemy's witness all at the same time. Tell me more. Operated out of Adams Air Force Base, Atomic Rain was a complex network of orbiting weapon platforms, each armed with tactical nuclear missiles. Now, after being unattended for so long, most of these satellites would have likely malfunctioned or be damaged. But a handful should still be serviceable, patiently sitting idle, awaiting their next command. A command that we shall send them. What happened at Adams Air Force Base? As far as the public knew, and most of the serving officers for that matter, Adams was just a typical Air Force Base. Hangars filled with jet fighters, cadets being drilled in the training yards, and so on and so forth. However, located just a few clicks beneath the surface was ECAM, the East Coast Aerospace Management System. Control Center for Atomic Rain. And a few other things, too. Officially, ECAM was established to defend our soil against enemy incursion. Unofficially, it was to monitor and react in event of any native resistance that may have occurred due to the ever-escalating civil unrest. Are you sure that 200 years didn't rust something important up there? Uh, no. Oxidation, or rusting, requires oxygen. And whilst it's possible a satellite in very low Earth orbit could suffer mild corrosion, it's still unlikely. It's uh, far more probable that some of the satellites have sustained damage from space debris than from any amount of rusting. Still, even taking into account 200 years of neglect of environmental deterioration, Enough of the Atomic Rain Satellite Network should still remain for our purposes. To do what exactly? I would think that to be obvious. By gaining control of the Atomic Rain Satellites, we can commandeer their nuclear arsenal and use it to wipe the gunners off the face of the Earth! In one fell swoop, we can destroy your enemy and put a definitive end to this war. Considering they tried to nuke you, seems a rather poetic response, don't you think? So, how are you going to do that? Not me. You. Whilst I can guide you, in the end it will be your hand pushing the button. Now, you've already acquired the Steno. The next step to gaining control of atomic rain requires you to obtain something from a certain location. But there is a complication. I... I can't quite remember where. What do you mean? Why not? My memory isn't what it once was. There are gaps in my knowledge. Certain things elude me. Faces, names, dates, locations. There are, there are even times that I lose. Um, but uh, never mind all that. Um, <clears throat> suffice it to say, I'm going to need some assistance. Don't worry, I can help. Hmm. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Whilst my memory is fuzzy, I do recollect something. Saint? Saint James. Perhaps some kind of church? No, no, no. That, that, that doesn't seem right. Tell me what you need, Doc. Yes. Yes, that is the question, isn't it? I must admit, I'm... Unaccustomed to not having all the answers. I would say, start with St. James, but I have no idea where that is. I do seem to associate that name with a few other places, though. Places like 
the old Warren Theater, the, the Prost Bar, and the Boylston Club. Hmm. Perhaps if you were to visit some of these old haunts of mine, you could uncover some information on St. James. And then, once we know more about it, chances are likely I'll know where to send you next. Well then, you have your next task. <laughs> Off you go. I'll radio later to check up on you. Best of luck out there. Mr. Gunner. Sorry about your leg. Cool. Critical strike, as in it did nothing. I think I, it hit someone else. Now someone's fancy got dynamite. Now I'm on fire too. God. I thought Mama Murphy was here. I feel that went pretty well. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh You point at him, Johnny. All right, time to blow up this robot and have all my settlers get obliterated. Oh, okay. Good job, everyone. Jiminy Christmas. Oh, give him, give him, give him stim packs. Oh, oh my god. Oh, every time. No, stop. Awesome. Intruder. Take I care, everyone. Good luck. Myself. You know, I don't know, but maybe my uh, settler leaders are like real a holes. You know, I ne I never spend any time at the city. I'm always so surprised when my uh when my constituents revolt after freeing them. There's a lore reason in there. To Prost management. Seems Dr. Magnuson had himself a date tonight. He was so enamored with her, he forgot his hat when they left. Can't say I blame him. She was quite the looker. Make sure to return his hat the next time the good doctor visits, or maybe we can hang it on one of the walls instead. Hat of Carl S. Magnuson, America's most famous astronaut. Alright, well, I'm wearing his hat. Alright. Pretty spiffy. Drinking your wine and dying. Patron record. Ah, Madison. Looking as lovely as always. Care for a new Kadar. Good evening, Magnuson. I assume this impromptu meeting means a decision has been reached? Yes, and no. Given our current partnership with Robco, and your less than amicable parting, there's been discussion regarding the ethics of recruiting your services. <coughs> ethics? <coughs> <laughs> Not a word I'd expect to hear from vault -Tec. Let's cut the crap, Maddie. It's true. You wouldn't have come all the way here if it was just to say, no deal. Your higher-ups simply think they can get more out of me. And they're not wrong. I know how this game is played. Fine. 
On top of guiding your attempts to replicate ASAM technology, I'll also see about getting 111's cryotech up to speed. But that is all. And if my superiors ask what, precisely, you're wanting in return? Then you make up some plausible-sounding lie. After all, that was part of our deal, Madison. No records, no oversight, complete autonomy. vault -Tec keeps their nose out, and I do the same in return. No reason for either party to pry too deeply into the other's affairs. Or secrets. You really do know how this game is played. That's how you play it. Well, when you've been around as many politicians as I have, you learn a few things. <laughs> hmm. You have yourself a deal, Dr. Magnuson. Excuse me, do you have a telephone I can use? Ring, ring. I have an important call to make. Of course. This way, Miss St. James. Yes, I'd like to order Arby's to go. Shame. <laughs> All right. Uh. Um. Uh. Going down. Ground floor. What the famous just happened? Did you Ground hear that? floor. I'm there now. What do you think? Going down fourth floor. Uh, what? I don't. Oh, they're playing. <laughs> they're playing instruments. Oh my God! Are the instruments? Is this a mod that I had on, or they're playing? <laughs> Okay, so this is from the mod Fallout Instrument Pack. <laughs> so that's what I that's what we heard. I was so confused. I was like, oh Jerry, you should play. Where is Jerry? Oh. Jesus. Instigating acoustic... Oh, hell yeah. It allows you to build instruments at a workshop. Jameson. Yeah. Also, scientist glasses? Sounds cool. Important show tonight. Whole house has been booked by our special guest, so let's put on our best performance yet. And remember, end of Act 3, Scene 2, enter the audience and present the rose to Dr. Magnus's lady friend instead of the Countess. Her name is Madison, so the lines now read, A gift for you, sweet Lady Madison, a pale reflection of beauty, next to your own, but I beg your indulgence. You got that? Good. Rehearsals will begin at 2, after party at 11, alcohol provided. Oh, great. Now I got to wait for him. Uh, I've got your hat, mister. They may have been raider scum, but they were making music. And I love them. Jerry. Oh, God. There was a whole Jameson. instrument caveat. You know what? We can build it out of settlement. Well, did you find anything? What was I looking for? Uh, yeah, I found a holotape. I came across a holotape. Excuse me, do you have a telephone I can use? Ring, ring. I have an important call to make. Of course. This way, Miss St. James. Well, I'll be a... Jameson. Yeah. Uncle, St. James isn't a place. 
It's a person. Uh, Magnuson? A very specific person. Madison. Yes. Yes, I remember now. Madison St. James, Chief Procurement Officer for vault -Tec. She was the one who recruited me after... after Robco gave me the boot. She helped salvage my project. Look, man, we're gonna have to have you talk to HR. What's this project? By now, it's possible you've already uncovered some smattering of information. A project? I suppose there's no harm in sharing a little Tell more. Tell me more. You see, before the bombs were finally dropped, a lot of us knew the day was coming. The end of the world, or at least the world that was. Individuals, corporations, governments, they all prepared for the worst. Ways to survive a nuclear apocalypse. For example, vault -Tec had their vaults. Pulowski with their... Pff, Preservation shelters. I, however, had a better idea. As grand as it was attainable, all I lacked was the means. That's why I approached Robco with my idea, and later why I agreed to work with vault -Tec. But things didn't transpire quite as I anticipated. For now, that's all I care to share. You knew Madison St. James? Do you know her? You could say that. We dated for a time. <laughs> Good lord, I can't believe I almost forgot about Maddie. Um... What's this project? By now, it's possible you've already uncovered some smattering. Oh, you wait, see, we did that. individual... For example, as crap. That, for now... Do you remember now? Yes, yes I do. I remember where I hid what you'll need to hijack atomic rain. Obviously, Miss St. James was not the location, but she was the one who granted me access to it. The technology you need is hidden in Vault 111. My alma mater. That's where you need to go. You been there? Oh god, I shouldn't have lost. Oh, I looked. Oh my god, I looked. Mother Jameson. Look to the left. Oh, how did I Jameson. do this? Oh my god. <laughs> You've been to a vault? To say I was simply there does a disservice to my genius. After all, I'm the one who got Vault 111 operational. Could you elaborate? It was part of the deal I struck with vault Tech. They were desperate to get their cryogenic suspension pods working. And I was desperate for the resources to complete my project. But I'm no fool. I had my suspicions regarding the true purpose of the vaults. But in the grand scheme of things, 111 seemed relatively benign. I know the way. Knowledge? What do you know about vault Tech? More than they would like. Early in my military career, I had the chance to witness the kind of company vault Tech was. I had already seen my fair share of warfare, death, killed others with my own hands. My heart was hardened, you could say. But even to someone like me, vault -Tec's callous attitude towards human life was... shocking. Years later, when I entered the private sector, I made a promise to myself to avoid any association with them. A promise that, much to my chagrin, I would break. I'm not your famous big errand boy. Good work, Doc. I know the way. Of course you do. And if I might add, I'm quite impressed by your attitude. There's not many who possess your composure and drive. I shall make contact with your partner. You'll be requiring his assistance. I'll have him meet you by the vault's entrance. And about returning to 111. I understand this may bring up some complicated emotions for you. But I assure you that this is necessary. I don't care. <laughs> um, it might be too much, bro. It's probably not going to work is what's going to happen. It's okay. I can do this. Your professionalism serves you well. You have your assignment. I suggest you make haste. Oh, and don't forget to bring the Steno. Yeah, dude, I get it. Stop trying to bring back Steno. It's not going to happen.